booktube welcome back to my channel it is booktube 2019 no that's not quite true booktube has grown up it is now being called the reading rush and the reading rush has its own website where you can go create a profile and meet all the participants share your tbr your goals your accomplishments throughout the week i haven't yet created my profile but i will link the website in the description box down below so you can go ahead and sign up but i wanted my first step to be to come on here to show you the books that i am planning to read during this week of booktube thought no I don't know if I'll ever stop calling it that during the week of reading rush reading rush begins on Monday July 22nd it goes to Sunday July 28th and these are the seven books that I'm looking at reading during that week of reading as much as possible and meeting some of these challenges in the process so here are the challenges and the books that I am going to be reading to try to meet them the first challenge is to read a book that has purple on the cover this is my notebook that I have the challenges written down in. And no, I can't use that as my purple on the cover. But I am trying to use the books that I have on my TBR, or at least that I've been hanging around my TBR shelf for a while. So one of the books that I have on my TBR in July is A Tesla Legacy by K.K. Perez. And this has purple on the spine, not so much on the front cover, although there are some purple tinges here on the cover. So this is my first book that I'm choosing to read. It's a science fiction, fantasy, young adult novel. So hopefully it will be an easy read, even though it's not quite a short read. It is 364 pages, but with the type of book that it is, I'm assuming that I'll be able to read it pretty quickly. The next challenge is to read a book in the same spot, and for that, I'm choosing a book that I just picked up at the used bookstore yesterday. This is Muriel Barbary's Gourmet Rhapsody, and it's only 160-something pages long, so I'm planning to read this book in bed because I spend a lot of evenings in bed just cooling out under the air conditioning. So. I think that I'll be able to read this book, maybe not quite in one sitting, but over the course of a couple of days in the same spot. Gourmet Rhapsody by Muriel Barbary. I wanted to read this one because I enjoyed her novel, The Elegance of the Hedgehog, which I read last year, under the recommendation of one of my subscribers, Lillian Nyswender. And I've been wanting to read other books by this author, so when I saw this one in the bookstore, I picked it up. I'm not sure about the synopsis, but I'm looking forward to reading it anyway challenge is to read a book that you meant to read last year and I picked up this one in the used bookstore last year it's a previous man booker nominee history of the rain by Neil Williams and I have it on my TBR to meet another challenge for another summer reading challenge that I'm doing so it seems a good time to try to read it as quickly as possible during the reading rush so this is the third book on my TBR Challenge number four is to read an author's debut and challenge number five is to read a book that features a non-human main character. And for that, I'm choosing to combine those challenges and read Lillian the Octopus by Stephen Rowley. I could also use this to satisfy the third challenge because I've had this book on my TBR for a while. It's been on my TBR shelf for longer than a year. So this book could potentially satisfy all three of those challenges. And I'm not sure if Lily is a main character or the main character, but since her name appears in the title, I'm going to say that she's the main character or one of the main characters here. And Lily is the dog that's featured on the cover. So I'm going to be reading this one. Stephen Rowley also wrote The Editor, which I read earlier this month. That's his newer book. And so I wanted to read more from him just to see how... His writing maybe has changed over the time since he wrote this book and now has published the editor so I'm looking forward to reading this one and with it I'll be able to cross off two potentially three challenges as well challenge number six is to read a book with six or more words in the title and for that I have chosen a little history of the world this is by E.H. Gombrich and it's a nonfiction history book it's an introduction to the history of the world like it says in the title and I'm reading this to have discussions with one of the high school students that I tutor we've already started reading the book we're up to about chapter 10 right now the book has 40 chapters so I won't say that I'm reading the entire book during the Reading Rush readathon, but I'll be advancing my reading during the week. So I'm putting this on my reading because maybe I'll finish it during the Reading Rush readathon. We'll see. But I'm reading this during the week as well. 
challenge number seven is to read a book and watch its movie adaptation and there are several books on my TBR for July that could satisfy this challenge however I'm having difficulty finding the movie adaptation for some of them so one of the easiest books that I could find the movie version is Schindler's Ark by Thomas Keneally this is a man booker winner so this book satisfies a lot of my reading checklist right now it's a man booker winner which means you know I'm reading all the books that have won the man booker prize in its history so check this is on my summer reading challenge check and now I'm gonna be reading it for I want to say booktubeathon for reading rush check as well and I've wanted to watch the movie I don't think I've ever watched the movie this the movie version is called Schindler's List but it's based on this book Schindler's Ark so I'm planning to read and watch the movie during the week so those are the six books that I have chosen to meet the seven challenges again there is no requirement to meet all of these challenges but if there are challenges I'm gonna try to see if I can meet them and there is a bonus challenge where if you read all seven books you can get a badge on your reading rush profile so I did select a seventh book and that is Love from A to Z by SK Ali and this is also young adult or new adult fiction which I'm looking forward to reading it is on my July TBR so I'm adding it here as my seventh book and hoping that I can read all seven books in seven days for reading rush 2019 so this is my very ambitious reading rush TBR when have I ever made a TBR video that wasn't ambitious I always overestimate how much I can read during a specific time this time reading rush is going to be no different so I hope you'll come back and watch my videos I'm planning to vlog my experience during the reading rush and share the experience of trying to read all these books during that specific period with you guys so I hope you'll come back give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already if you're also participating in reading rush leave me a link to your video down below so I can go watch it if I haven't already found your channel it will be a really good way for me to meet you and to follow your progress and to share this experience with you so let's talk in the comments and thanks for watching this video until next time happy reading bye